Hi everyone, this is Tara Walker and today I want to talk to you about having a home-based MLM business. And notice that I said home-based because that's what I mean. I don't mean going to the store and using the three-foot rule and prospecting total strangers. I also don't mean going to only your friends and family and trying to prospect them. Okay, I mean truly home-based, which is by use of the internet or the phone. That's what I mean. So, first we'll talk about the fact that you already see the value in having a network marketing business, which is that you have time freedom, income potential, and the ability to work from home. So I don't need to tell you why you're in network marketing, because you already know that it's, there's a lot of benefits there. Uh, but the problem is a lot of people run into a snag when trying to market their business the traditional way. So what is the traditional way? The traditional way is prospecting to your friends and family and using the three foot rule, which is the kind of thing you're often taught when you go to any kind of MLM meeting or training. Uh, so that's the traditional way. The problem with that is sometimes it feels like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. So, plan A is what you're often taught, and that is make a list of the people you know and market to them. Talk to anyone within three feet of you, okay? Now that plan didn't work out very well for me and for my personality, so I was very happy when I found plan B. Okay, my plan B is create an online marketing system, generate your own leads, and talk to only those who are interested. That is so much better than just going out there and randomly trying to find anyone, you know, that's not very targeted. So, how do you market your business online? First of all, you'll need a website, which we call a personal blog. Uh, you also need to have Twitter and Facebook. Those are the bare minimums. So, then you want to create your own personal website, which is your blog. Your blog is your online real estate. It is your central hub because you're going to have a lot of other pages such as Facebook, Twitter, articles and things such as that all linking back, driving traffic back to your blog. So the blog is the most important thing. And I like to use a self-hosted WordPress blog. Okay, now your blog will show the world a little bit about yourself. So you don't want to make it to where you're just giving information, just black and white. You do kind of want to put your own opinion in there and let people know what are you passionate about, who are you as a person, okay? And it's not difficult to come up with blog posts to write about because a lot of people think, I'm not an expert, how can I possibly have a blog? You know, how am I going to teach people things when I'm not an expert? But actually, you have to always be learning in your business anyway. So you just take the training that you're already getting and seeking and then you write about that. So like I said, always be learning. In your network marketing business, you should always engage in new training. Use this training as topics for your blog post. Offer true value. So some of the types of training would be marketing training, recruiting, or sales training and personal development. So if you're reading a book by Zig Ziglar and you find something inspirational, write a blog post about it because we all know that personal development is a huge factor in becoming successful. So you want to create a sales funnel. You're probably wondering what that is, so I'll explain that in the next slide. Okay, so you're gonna drive people to your blog you're going to build a list and you're going to recruit into your business as the last step. So first of all, if you look at the top of this picture here, you're going to have all these ways to drive people to your blog. So the first way I've put is paid advertising like pay-per-click or banner ads. You can do that if you choose. Another way is video marketing such as YouTube. The other way is social networking like Facebook and Twitter. And then the next one is content marketing, like blogging and articles. So there are many more ways, but basically all these ways are driving traffic to your blog. Okay, so once people are at your blog, 
You can build a list of followers, people who like to read your content. They put your, their name and email into a form that you have on the site. And then you're building relationships, you're emailing them, you're interacting with them through comments on the blog. And you can also make commissions during this phase too, because at times you may tell them about a great tool that you're using and uh, you could get paid a commission off of that. So that's another aspect of this. Uh, but eventually you can lead them into your primary business because basically you're offering them so much value and they're going to see that you're going to be someone who's going to help them to become successful in their network marketing business. So that's why this is such a, a win-win situation because you're offering value to help them. You are going to help them and in turn you're going to build a team in your network marketing business. So basically it just comes down to offering value and attracting interested prospects to you. And so that's a good targeted way to build your network marketing business. If you do want to learn some additional tips on how to market your business online, we give step-by-step -step directions and a lot of training on our blog. And so that blog's at www.onlinemlmbusinessblog.com. Talk to you soon.